Ladies and gentlemen, we go live across the world. Facebook.com forward slash Lonsdale. Lonsdale London, our main sponsor this evening. This is Bammer 18. Welcome to the new age. We're ready for three five minute rounds in the featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, an MMA specialist. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, and weighed in at 146 pounds. He has a flawless record of two wins, zero losses, and zero draws. All wins by way of submission. Representing Team Kyoban from England, Mike Grundy. And his opponent fighting out of the right corner. An MMA specialist, he stands five feet, nine inches tall and weighed in at 144 pounds. He has a record of seven wins, one loss and zero draws. Two wins by way of TKO and two by submission. Representing Team Torquin from Paris, France, Mamadou Gouye. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Mr. Neil Hall. So that cage door shuts, the thumbs come up, and our fighters are ready to battle it out. Now for a wrestler, that's a nice high guard from Grundy. And as you said, Nick, you knew what he was going to do. You warned Mamadou Gia what would happen. That's textbook from the wrestler. Absolutely, shots and perfect double leg, got in so deep. Hoisted his man up, slammed him, and landed straight into side control where he's going to just work his man and pound now. Excellent start for Gundy, and as you said, quite predictable. But again, what I like to see there was with that high hands, he just hinted to Mamadou Gye that there was going to be a bit of a boxing exchange there. Just got him slightly into that mindset and then went straight for the shoe, as you said, and it was a great takedown. Exactly. You've got to make the opponent always question themselves and set things up a little bit sneakily. Here, Mamadou's doing a good job of trying to scramble and recover his guard. Looking to pass immediately and settles for half guard. Working the body shots. And I'll tell you what, he's looking for another day by choke. This could be three in a row for Mike Woodley. Well, it, as we said, he favoured it. It worked at Bama 16 and 17 for him. So, what's the old saying? Don't fix it if it isn't broken. That's right, but we are obviously wise to it. It would have been training his Bravo defence, and he just managed to keep his head back and uh, escape that submission attempt early on, but it's a warning. And this takes phenomenal strength. So early in the round, to take a man down, you've got your wrestling pedigree, you're working like this. It's so tiring, isn't it? It is, but it's going to be a lot more tiring for the man on the bottom. Mamadou is carrying Gundy's weight, and no one knows how to use the weight quite like a wrestler. He can make himself feel twice as heavy as he actually is, so Mamadou cannot spent too long down here, he has to create a scramble, get back to his feet, or at the very least, get full guard back. Yes, he, he's trying constant movement, as you said, Grundy at the moment is relentless. This, this is his world, isn't it? It's as simple as that. Exactly, it's, this is his bread and butter. Keeping his man pinned down, and he's just doing the right tactics here. Short, short shots, dropping the boys, trying to cut his man. And there's that dropping weight again, you said, to really make Mamadou feel it there. Yeah, this is going to take its toll. Mamadou survives for the end of the round, he's going to go back, a little bit rejected, a little bit defeated. And the spirit's going to be already half broken. And he's given his back already, Nick. Yeah, yeah total position here now. And he's still chopping away. If Mamadou lifts his chin up, he will be looking to set the choke in. He's done a good job here. And he's in a precarious position, straight back down for sure. Ooh, onto his head as well as he went down. And it's been relentless from Grundy. Yeah, this is one of the most tiring types of fights uh, Mamadou could be fighting. But you've got to expect he's prepared for this, and this is what he was expecting. Here's Gregor choke of number two. He's got his hands linked. Again, giving up, but I wouldn't be surprised if this does it in a Gregor choke later on. Yes, because Mamadou, it's, it's been all defensive so far. We've been impressed with his defence, but with just under two minutes of the round left now. When you look at it in the cold light of day, it has been damage limitation for the Frenchman. Yeah, I mean, I don't think Mamadou's issued any offence whatsoever. So Mike Grundy's taken no damage again, looking for that go choke. He must be his go-to move in the gym as well. He knows how to set it up from all different angles. And he's just tiling his opponent down little by little. Here he's trying to put his hip in. It's done. You're right. Three in a row, three Bebo 
contract. There was an inevitability about that. Look at that athleticism there as well. There was an inevitability about that from the moment they went to run. I think so. And uh, Abadou just couldn't really get into that fight. He just a class piece. Good deed, real prospect. Looking forward to seeing him fight again. Now, in hindsight, it's easy to say that we felt that once it was it was almost inevitable going to be a great one. What could Mamadou have done differently? Or was it just excellent technique from Trumbo? Too big, too strong, too technical. There's the shot early on, perfect double leg, slam, and that can hurt a man, that can win him. And that was just the beginning of the end for Mamadou. Here's the finish now. Third time lucky, nice and deep. And notice here how he puts the hip in. Makes it into a little bit of a neck plank as well. And there's the tap, he's had enough. Yes, excellent stuff there from Mike Rugby. And as we said, inevitable from that moment that takedown. Let's go to Birdie RFC for the official announcement now. This bout ended three minutes, 35 seconds off the first round. Your winner by Dust Choke in the blue corner, Mike Rugby!